Oscars. Obviously, the white savior is a winning formula. And let's face it, money and prestige talks. Talk back today. Is the key to winning an Oscar a white savior? Facebook.com slash Carol CNN or tweet me at Carol CNN. We want to bring in Nichelle Turner. She's our correspondent out in Los Angeles because uh, Nichelle has covered Hollywood for a very long time. So is there ever talk? And I, I'm sure you've sat down with many African-American actors. Has that question mm -hmm. come up in conversation before? Well, I think the question of is there a white savior in a lot of movies has definitely come up. I'm not sure if it's the question of is do you need this in order to win an Oscar? I think more so the general consensus is it's an easier way to get a movie made in Hollywood if you have that central character who is, I guess, more enticing to the general public than just a specific audience. So that question does come up, but more so in just can I get a movie made? We've heard Spike Lee talk about it time and time again that it's hard for him as a black director and making movies centered on black characters to get movie made than maybe a Steven okay, Spielberg. Okay, so, so you're saying a movie about a black savior. It would be very difficult to have that movie made and perhaps mm -hmm. it wouldn't attract an audience like a, a movie about a white savior? Well, I mean, we've seen this, Carol, uh, r this year in a movie like Django Unchained. I mean, there's been criticism of that movie. People say, May why didn't this get, uh, you know, all of the acclaim that other movies did? Why didn't Jamie Foxx get a best, best Actor nomination for this movie? Because he was the central character. And some people speculate, uh, is a lot of in the, in the black community, that maybe it's because he was kind of this big, bad character, the central character in the movie, that wasn't very sympathetic to white people. Well, and plus, Jason, and I see you shaking your head there, plus, <laughs> even in the movie Django Unchained, a white guy got the ball rolling, right? Right. I mean, that's the problem with these films. This is a conversation I have with my friends all the time, which is why I don't usually watch the Oscars, because there's this prevailing theme that black people are always in some subservient role in films. There's a prevailing theme that the way that African Americans are depicted in films are ways that no one else would be depicted. I'll give you an example. Monsters Ball several years ago. Halle Berry gets an Oscar for sleeping with, you know, Billy Bob Thornton. Would we ever see a film with Forrest Whitaker having sex with Charlize Theron? Never. And no one would ever make that movie, and no one would ever support it. There are ways in which black people are depicted in Hollywood that are not at all respectful and very much driven by what white audience are perceived to want. Well, I, I, want, I wanted to ask Anna, you know, how she feels about how Latinos are depicted in movies because you never really see, I mean, I'm trying to think of one where, can you think of one, Anna, where, where a Latino or Hispanic was in the primary role and was like this well-liked character and... Yeah. Anna? Well, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking as you're asking me, <laughs> and I think so, <laughs> and yeah, and I have to tell you, this is not really my bailiwick, I think, the, I think I've seen two of the Oscar-nominated movies uh, this entire year, and it's not because there's not enough African-Americans or Latino, um, but, um, you know, I, I think we have made some strides, I think there is progress to be made yet. Uh, as we see more Latinos, more African Americans, more diversity in terms of directors, in terms of financing, executives at the studios, it's something that might happen. But you know something, Carol? I have no idea. I don't know if Jason does, I don't know if Michelle does, of what it takes to get the votes from the members of the Academy. Uh, you, you know, I'm just waiting now for Robert to blame Republicans for there not being enough blacks in film. And Robert, I apologize for not getting to you. We have to wrap this segment up. I'm sorry, I didn't get to the white guy. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one we point. want to know. He can still be the savior. Can he can, can still can be the savior. Can one point, the Carol? Yes. I think, you know, it's a re this is a really important topic, and there are a lot of very good examples that prove Salon's point. Mm -hmm. The movie Lincoln, however, is not prove the point, because Lincoln is really about, it's not about educating about the abolition of slavery. It's about a very bold and crafty right. politician who put together the votes in an all-white Congress yes. and get that amendment through, get that constitutional amendment through the Congress. So I think it's, I think it's a really important topic. And Tommy Lee Jones had a million at the end of the movie, Republican though. president. Yeah. Three there. seconds. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to find out what our Facebook friends think about this question. Is the key to winning an Oscar a white savior? This from 